All right, you guys, we're going up to Onyx Summit right now. There's there's a little blurp of moisture up there right now. We could catch some snow. Keep your fingers crossed. I would be very excited. And uh, once again, enjoy one of these short little clips to show you guys what we got coming. Love you guys very much. Cheers. Hey, what's up, you guys? Hey, I just want you guys to know I'm a big fan of how this t-shirt came out. From far away, it looks like a cool bear, an icon that represents Big Bear Lake. And if you look closely, the words spell out some of my favorite places in Big Bear, like Bear Mountain, Snow Summit, and Drought Creek in the Village. I can't wait till we release this. Go check it out, and I really appreciate all your support. Love you guys. It's November 17th. We're getting a little bit of drizzle right now in Big Bear. And I am on the hunt for some snow. My car says 47 degrees, but I know it's closer to 40. And we're gonna take the risk and drive up to Onyx Summit and see if we can catch the first snowflake. It's about 25, 30 minute drive from where I stay. So just keep our fingers crossed because I really wanna get that first snowflake for us, guys. Anyway, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Pretty exciting stuff. It really is. I love this so much. And guys, thank you so much for the comments. Just such beautiful, beautiful, beautiful comments. Unbelievably kind people. You guys make this channel so special. It's such a happy, good, safe place to be here. Everyone is so friendly and we all get along great the best friends I've ever had in my life have come from this channel. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a very grateful, blessed dude. So thank you guys very much. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to keep us recording this whole time. I'll kind of turn it on and off as we get closer to Onyx Summit. But uh, yeah, thank you guys again for everything. This is absolutely awesome. Um, if we do get the first snowflake right now, we are going to launch the uh, the merchandise line for y'all. I'm really grateful for all the response about it. Oh my gosh, it, it just makes me so happy that you guys are so interested. And it's quality stuff, you guys. You guys are not gonna be disappointed. And to see people wearing the merch is just, oh man, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm so excited about that. It's gonna be a very special thing to see people walking around this town wearing something that we have created together over the past nine years so anyway let's get it but for right now i'm gonna shut this off for a minute and i'll turn it back on once we get on to highway 38 all right you guys hang tight i'll see you in just a second it'll seem like i time traveled that's how fast i'll be back so hang on okay you guys we are coming up to highway 38 right now this is where big bear boulevard highway 18 meets highway 38 and here we go. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's see if we'll catch anything once we get up to the top of Onyx Summit. You know what, I'll just keep the camera going. Why not, right? Show you guys the, the route out of town on Highway 38, especially since you can now take this. Highway 38 is now officially open again. They have some restrictions, but for regular vehicles like us, you guys are able to come up and come down. Highway 38. Sip 
meditation is. I'm kind of OCD about it. I don't want to miss anything. So I wanted to say thank you to Devin Guerrero. Devin, thank you so much. Devin sent us a $20 Venmo to keep up the good work. So Devin, thank you, man. I, I appreciate it. I'll, I'll never get used to the help, but I am extremely grateful. Thank you. And I hope you and your family have a great night and a very happy Thanksgiving. I am really, really grateful for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Mr. Devin Guerrero. The man. Okay, so we're starting to get some more raindrops now. I don't know if you guys can tell. We're gonna be cutting it pretty close to the freezing temperature when we get up to Onyx Summit. But we are going to take that risk. Definitely getting some heavier drizzle now. I don't know if, if you can really tell on the windshield. There we go. Now you can hear it for sure. Gosh, I hope we find snow, guys. I really hope we find the snow. I love me the snow. you guys I'm about the merchandise line like like I'm so nervous about it I, it's just it's it's a good nervous it's just pure excitement I just can't believe this is happening to me like it's so cool I've worked so hard on this channel for nine years guys like it's it's I've never missed a single storm ever since I've lived here I take pride in what I do. I take pride in helping you guys stay safe and giving you guys the best directions and uh, information possible. Wow, it's definitely, definitely starting to come down. Yeah, boy. Temperature is now 44. I have a feeling we're only gonna get down to maybe 35 up top, but that doesn't necessarily mean we won't see any snowflakes up here. So please keep your fingers crossed while we're taking this drive. I want to see the snow. Oh snap, folks. 43. Temperature is 43. Woo! Turn off my brights. There we go. And put it back on. Forty-two. Temperature is forty-two. And it's gonna keep on dropping. The further we go this direction, it's gonna keep on dropping. We're gonna be reaching an elevation of eight thousand four hundred and forty-three feet. Forty-one degrees. It's dropping quick. Oh, please give me snow. Please, I beg of you. I'm ready to explode with happiness if we get any snowflakes. In a few seconds, it'll be down to 40 degrees. Oh, boy. This is great. This is fantastic. I'm glad I took this risk, you guys. I don't know if we'll get lucky enough for the snow, but we shall see. It's 40 degrees now. Ooh, baby. How's everyone doing this evening? Don't forget to do me a big favor, guys. Hit the like button. Please 
It is so important and it takes no time at all. It is so helpful for the channel, for YouTube's algorithm to help push the video to further, further places, further areas around the world. The more people that hit thumbs up, since YouTube wants to make money, they're gonna push the video because they want to make money. So um, it does help the algorithm and I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe for those of you who haven't subscribed yet. I really hope those of you who finally have succumbed and subscribed, please understand that I do work so hard at this. You're not just giving away a free, free subscribe for someone who hasn't earned it. I feel like I work really hard at this at all hours of the day and night when we have storms especially. Okay, it's 39 degrees. Wah, wah, wah. Come on, baby, come on. Show me some love. Let's get that snowfall to come from above. Snow well, snow well. Let the snow fall down here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 38, guys. Temperature is 38. Oh my gosh, come on, baby. Come on. Keep falling. Keep dropping. Keep dropping, baby. Once we pass this car, it'll say 37. Watch. I'll bet you anything. Shortly after. Come on, baby. Down to 37. Come on, show me some love. Mother Nature, you gotta give this to me tonight, please. You have got to give this to me. I swear, I th it's 37, 37, blink, blink, blink. I think I just saw a snowflake, but I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, was that, guys? Like, I'm really getting excited here. I cannot believe that we're getting this close to freezing temperatures and precipitation right now. Can we see 36? Let's get a 36 degrees here. Come on, let's see 36 here. Let's do this. Let's go, baby. Let's go. If you guys are wondering where my beautiful bride is, she's with our grandkids and our kids. It was one of our grandkids' birthdays today. Unfortunately, because of my regular job, I, I couldn't leave. She's in Whittier right now. She'll be back tomorrow. Come on, give me a 36. Give me a 36, yo. too fast around these corners because uh well I guess we did just have a decent amount of rain so it's not going to be too slick from the oil coming out of the road but from all the oil that leaks onto the roads come on baby come on if we can get down to 35 when we get up here I might just stick around until the rain goes and see if we get any any schnee Schnur, 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 schnur. All right, give me 36. Come on, baby, give me 36. I'm begging you, please. We are definitely climbing pretty good right now.
should drop an another degree or two at least by the time we get up here. We're not too far. We're not too far from Onyx Summit, so we really need to be dropping temperatures here. Like, I would never, ever do that. I don't know how that was possible. But with me, anything's possible. So, it's unfortunate. But I pulled it, pulled that move, man. I'm sorry about that. downhill and I'm like what is going on here we haven't even gotten to Onyx and it's already going downhill that's really odd but it's because I passed it yeah I passed it pass it pass 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 the Onyx to the left hand side passing Onyx on the left hand side okay we're coming up to Onyx now I will not miss it this time so again, this is uh, the very top here is 8,443 feet. This is Onyx Summit. We're going to pull over here into the turnout. Man. Man, oh man. It definitely is pretty windy up here, though. Let me uh, zoom in here so you guys can see. It's definitely windy. Well, that's a bummer. Let me roll down the wind in. Can't believe that. It feels really cold. Definitely cloudy above us. Oh, there's a star now. Now it's gone. Wow, guys, that is such a bummer. Well, anyway, once again, how are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing the best we can to find the first snow. Obviously, it's not going to happen right now. There's another chance at about 5 in the morning or 5.30. You can bet your boots I'll be up to drive around town and try and catch some snow. Again, I love, I love doing this. I know a lot of you get excited about snow up here, too. And it's, uh, I, I couldn't get a more thrilling feeling than doing this for you guys. Again, I'm so passionate about this and it makes me feel so good to do this for you guys. Um, yeah, thanks for the support over the past nine years. <laughs> like this is, this is crazy that we've been doing this for so long. We are like original in this type of content. Um, people in Mammoth and Tahoe and even some copycats here which I'm flattered by it. Don't get me wrong, super flattered by it. But there was no one else driving around in the mountains recording storms or every storm. And then about two or three years after I started, a channel popped up in the Mammoth area where they do the same thing essentially. And uh, I'm just extremely flattered, but I'm the OG in this type of, of content as far as I know. So that's pretty cool. I thought I was the biggest dork in the world for doing this stuff. And I didn't think anyone would actually watch. 
but I'm really thankful that you guys do watch and uh, I hope you enjoy everything about it from the commentary to the beautiful scenery and uh, the communications we have between each other. It's everything to me. It is everything to me. It means everything to my heart, you guys. You guys mean everything to my heart. I love each and every single one of you so dearly. So thank you again for everything. Never forget, don't hesitate to ask me any questions. I'm always gonna be here to do my best to answer them for you. And typically it's in a fairly, a pretty timely fashion. I try to respond to everybody. So just, uh, you know, don't hesitate, don't be afraid. Ask me any, any questions you want. You know, I've been through a lot of rough patches in my life and uh, if some of my experiences that you've heard over time, if you think I'm able to help you overcome some things and, and get through certain things in life, do not hesitate to talk to me about it because that's the biggest, I guess, gift from this channel is being able to touch people's lives and I never knew that that was gonna be a part of this whole operation. So thank you guys and let me help you because you guys certainly help me. You guys give me hope and a purpose in life. One of the greatest gifts I could have ever received. So thank you, I love you guys. And uh, just give me a moment here. We're gonna shut this off for a second and then I'll turn it back on and we'll probably start heading down. Hang on. Okay, you guys, we're stuck at 37 degrees. We're gonna start heading down. My clock is still an hour fast, so it's 10.08. Um, unfortunately, we're not gonna catch any snow right here, but who knows, maybe on the way back down, we could get something special. Again, just keep your fingers crossed. Keep them fingers crossed, my friends. so grateful to live up here it is it's such a peaceful beautiful place to live and again don't forget you can come up and down highway 38 now again there's restrictions um, I don't think they're allowing certain type of big rigs and stuff like that but you're definitely able to drive up and down so you can come to our beautiful town highway 38 is what I usually send my mom up when she comes visit comes and visits because I want her to be safe and uh, it is a little bit longer of a drive to get to Big Bear Lake, but I have more confidence that you'll get here in one piece, as well as uh, it's a beautiful drive. It, it really is. It, taking Highway 38 really feels like you're driving through a much bigger mountain range because you're kind of driving through, through the mountain range parallel to the mountains. So it just makes it feel like a much bigger mountain range than it really is. If you're going over our mountain range like through the Cajon Pass you can really see how how small of a mountain range it really is um, if there was a road that went from like Highland straight up to the top and over into Lucerne Valley without any turns it would probably take 15 minutes to get through the whole mountain range maybe 20 minutes at the most that's how tiny of a mountain range this is we live in such a cute little adorable mountain range and I love it a lot. Okay, we're coming back into some more precipitation. Temperature is back up to 38. Again, that doesn't mean that we can't see a couple snowflakes. But the temperature is going to be rising pretty quickly as we head down here. I really enjoy the hunt for snow. A few times since I've been doing this, uh, this time of year, maybe a little bit earlier, when we do have storms in the area, when the snow lines at like 7,500 feet or close to 8,000 feet and Big Bear won't see any snow, I've actually caught the first snow driving up here. The first snow before anyone in Big Bear sees it, I'm able to catch it and I was hoping that I'd be able to do that again today. But if I don't take these risks, nothing like that's gonna happen. As I said, it's about 25 to 30 minute drive each way. Um, so again, when you guys are helping me out with those donations and stuff, it, it really does help. It really does help a lot because I, I use so much gas and put so much 
wear and tear on my vehicle and tires. Right now we have the snow tires on. And the snow tires will last maybe a little less than half the time that regular tires will. They suggest that you don't drive on pavement like this without any snow or ice on it. Um, so they'll wear down even faster. But I need to be as safe as, as possible so I can be out there in the midst of these storms to show you guys what's going on up here. And to also have a little bit of fun while I'm out there. It really is a, a joyous venture for me. I've explained to you guys over and over again that between my regular job that I work 60 to 70 hours a week minimum every week for six years, between that and the YouTube channel, which has nothing to do with my job, I love what I do. So I don't work a day in my life, even though I, I put in more hours than a lot of people doing what I do, I don't feel like I work a day in my life. I get to wake up, you guys, every day and say, thank you, thank you, thank you, I get to do this. I remember when my life was waking up every day saying, oh man, I have to go to work today. For me, that was no way to live, and I'm just so thankful that I found something that uh, might not be lucrative, and uh, you know, yeah, I barely get, get by, but I, I have a lot of bills and obligations, so that's why I never have anything left over each month, but I work really hard and I, I, I make things happen and I'm, I'm just so proud of myself. Someone who's been a recovering alcoholic for over 10 years now, I've got, on June 23rd, I celebrated 10 years without a single sip of alcohol and that's probably my biggest accomplishment in my entire life. I am so proud of that. I don't even think about drinking anymore. It did nothing but destroy my life. And again, if, if, if any one of you are, are suffering from alcoholism or addiction, please don't hesitate to contact me. I will share with you what I've been through, all my experiences, my strength and my hope, in hopes that I'll be able to touch your life and impact you. In a, in a very positive way so I'm here for you guys all right it's still 38 degrees this is gonna jump to 39 any second let's just see here we'll keep this in front of us so you guys can see probably in the next 10 or 15 seconds it'll jump up to 39 show you guys when it does. So I'm always happy about that. It's always a feel-good moment for me. A moment of accomplishment, especially when I'm seeking it out. So that was pretty awesome. And remember, just a friendly reminder, we are on Highway 38. bet we're going to get all the way up to 43, maybe even 44 by the time this is done. Man, we were close though, you guys. We were close, just a couple degrees off from that rain being snow. So we're on the right track. It's just not working out for us tonight.
that's what Big Bear Weather and More does, you guys. It goes out of his way always to make sure I can bring you guys the first snow and the rain when it's not on my side of town on the other side. Keep in mind, our town is very small. It, it doesn't cover that, that much land. So, I mean, it's, and with this kind of scattered little storm that we are having right now, where I live, <clears throat> it was clear skies, but then literally a mile away, cloudy and, <clears throat> and some rain falling. The microclimates, <coughs> pardon me, the microclimates in this area are just amazing. Truly amazing. I can't wait, as I've told you guys, once we get some good snowstorms, it's 42 degrees now. Once we get some good snowstorms, I can't wait to show those of you who are new what I refer to as the Big Bear Snow Rule. It shows you the discrepancy in the amount of snow from one side of town to the other. And it is a big discrepancy. One part of town, if it gets a foot of snow, the other part of town might have an inch or two. And this is every single time. That's why I decided to, uh, to refer to it as the Big Bear Snow Rule.
but thank you guys for cruising with me. I do apologize that we didn't catch any snow, but we we got close. We got really, really close. So the launch of the website, if we don't get any snow at five in the morning or six in the morning when the next little impulse comes through, is gonna be Thanksgiving Day. I really hope you guys come to watch that. At the beginning of that video, I'll be posting the launch video, the launch clip. And I think you guys are gonna be so proud of me. And it's so professionally done and just, it's, it's, it's pretty spectacular. I'm so excited to show that off to you guys. Can't wait to hear what you think, but anyway. I love you guys very much. Thank you again for everything. And uh, thanks for experiencing this whole YouTube journey with me. This is fantastic. And uh, again, I love you guys very, very, very much. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to many more years of doing this with y'all. So take care. It is November 17th, 2023 at 10.20 p.m. Love you guys. Take care.